So I feel that he will come out and just try to take advantage of the situation and try to just uh, kind of hurry things on, which will be, if he does, it's just what I want. I'll be waiting for him. All right, now, since that time, of course, you've run off the impressive string, including a decision over Muhammad Ali. Uh, do you look back to that fight? Have you analyzed that fight to find out maybe why Kenny Norton was not effective that one particular evening against him, against Garcia? Well, I think that uh, I knew it after the fight. It was just a thing of taking a man for granted. We knew nothing about the individual. And so uh, I just took it for granted and paid for it. No excuses. There's no excuses for losing. You know, if you lose, there's no excuse. And that night he was a better man. Tonight I'll be the better man. All right. Some people around boxing still think that you can be touched with the left hook. Uh, have you thought about that? Have you worked on keeping the, keeping the hand up, the right hand up? Uh, I can be touched, but nobody's touched me with it. Quar didn't touch me with it. Ali's a very good hooker. He touched me with it a few times, but uh, nothing devastating. Uh, I, I, it, it's, it's just knowing when to drop the right hand and when not to dry, drop the right hand. I have, uh, everybody has some mistakes, but the thing is getting caught and making those mistakes, and that's the trick. Nobody can catch me making them. I guess it's uh, more important to talk about your last fight against Jerry Quarry. <laughs> you were a pure destruction. Uh, I had a very good night, and uh, God willing, I'll have a good night tonight. Kenny, thank you very much. I know you're getting ready for the fight. Thank you for coming on for CBS. We appreciate it. Well, thank you very much. All right, good night. What can we look for, and what are the chances of a real good fight tonight? Well, we're going to find out tonight if Lightning can strike twice because Norton got stiffened by Jose Garcia with a good fashion left hook, a punch that Ken Norton is susceptible to. Garcia, uh, kind of a guy that can bang you out with a shot. He's up and down, but mostly when he's with his manager, Willie Ketchum, he's in great condition, and he comes to fight, and I think we're in for a great night of boxing tonight. Kenny Norton, tripping the life fantastic. Everybody wants to get the Big Apple, fight Muhammad, so this way he's gambling tonight. So he knows what he must do. It's, t it's a tough fight. I make it a very difficult fight. It's going to be a knockout, I'll put, you, put it to you that way, but either guy can get knocked out, I'll put it that way also. Chuck Van Avery has just gone over the introductions and all. Uh, Kenny Norton at 218, 213 pounds for Garcia. They're both in blue. The dark blue will appear black on your screen if you're watching in black and white. That's Kenny Norton, the number three ranked heavyweight in the world. And of course, uh, Garcia has a little bit lighter blue trunks with the white trim. Uh, Angelo, at this time, the intimidation factor. Actually, Garcia knocked out Norton the last time, but Norton is considered the better fighter. Is there a factor right now in intimidation? Oh, definitely. They figure Lightning can strike twice, and Garcia wants to make a strike twice tonight. Kenny got to be a little careful in that first round. But that's when everybody's susceptible to a knockout. So it's going to be, I think, a tough first round for Kenny Norton. All right, Kenny Norton out. We're about ready for action here at St. Paul, and the crowd... The crowd is ready. We've had three good preliminary fights, and let's get on with it. It's Norton circling to the left. So we the soft left. So to searching as Garcia's first touching left, standing and just weaving. is not forcing the action yet, Angelo. Well, he's being a little mm. careful because this fellow throws bombs like you saw right then. And if he can land early, he can put some hurt on somebody. 
Jose at one time weighed about 180 pounds, a pearl diver who's now at 213 pounds and a lot bigger than I anticipated him to be. Good left hand. This is with a wild hook. Norton, very strong. Good left hand. Pinned right above us here. Garcia with his back to the ropes. Norton, up or under. Good left hand by Garcia, backed him right out. There's Miss. Garcia, kidding. Short right hand, not too much on it. Garcia's fighting a very determined fight. He's being aggressive and carrying the play to Kenny. Kenny's going to have to break that up because this guy can punch with either hand. You have to keep in mind that Garcia was leading the fight when he knocked him out. Now he comes out and moves across, doesn't land anything. Norton with a short, choppy right hand. Norton has his man there. Garcia doesn't seem to be backing off much. Short, choppy right by Kenny Norton. Garcia is backed into the corner, into Norton's corner. Round one of 12. Big right hand. They're really going for broke, Tom. This is with the right hand. Garcia now on the offensive. Good left hand by Norton. Good left hand by Norton. Very dangerous in there, Tom, for Norton to be trading with this guy, because this guy is definitely a better puncher, and he really throws pineapples all the time. So I think Ken's going to have to watch himself in close. Two good right hands by Norton. Overhand right. Garcia not backing off a bit. Short right hand. Toe to toe for round number one. Two, Norton up. Garcia was already up off his stool. Ketchum had him out there early. covering up and moving ahead. That is an awkward style, isn't it, to fight, Angelo? Yes, it is. I mean, they're both throwing a lot of feints at each other, trying to move each other into position, both looking for the big punch. I think Kenny shouldn't look to load up with this guy and just bide his time. Good jab by Garcia. Combination left-right on the button. Misses a big right hand, but still moves in. Digs him. It's a strong right hand by Garcia. Misses. High on the hip. A looping left. Getting wild too now coming back. Garcia up against the ropes. Right hand by Garcia definitely hurt Norton. Lucky that the follow-up left hook didn't come through, but he definitely was stung. Norton now working inside, right above us here. Garcia pin on the ropes. But not necessarily taking too much. Almost hear the breathing where Angelo Dundee and I are at this moment. Garcia content to stay there. Norton now trying to open it up. Garcia with two good shots. Norton trying to get that guard down. Garcia with his back to you. Kenny Norton working on him. Kenny's using that pickaboo of Archie Moore. He's doing a good job, but he's got to be very careful when he opens up, like right there. Garcia with a quick right hand, and he throws it quickly. Not the least bit odd that he's fighting Kenny Norton. There's the cover-up that Angelo talked about. These two haven't been five feet apart since they came in to get their gloves on. Left and right by Garcia. A left a right high off the head by Garcia. Amazing thing is Garcia's a good puncher in close, too. Ooh, straight up. An uppercut with a left hand by Norton. Ooh, flurry by Garcia. Norton backed out of there. A little bit of trouble.
Okay, right on top. The man with his back is Garcia, but he's been scoring effectively even though he's been on the ropes. Norton with a right hand. A left hand. Now a right hand. Now Garcia comes back. Ooh. They are digging each other tough. Ooh, a right hand by Garcia. Misses. Big hand by Norton. Great fight. Great. Angelo Dundee, I've played football about every sport. There's nothing like the man-to-man -man war that goes on in a boxing ring when two heavyweights get in there. This is incredible. This is incredible. They're both in great shape, and they're both gambling. I don't know. Like, Ken Norton gambling is worrying me. He should really play it cool and take his time. Him gambling in there, the other guy's the better banger. What do you think Slayton is saying to him now? He's saying smother him. Don't let him get the big bomb on you, because uh, Kenny's covering up pretty wisely in there. But when he throws punches, he's leaving his chin open. Round three. Round three, and you haven't been able to get a, a water jug in between these two. They go out there and tee it up and start out the third round. Garcia on your right. Kenny Norton. Number three and thinking about a big fight next spring, which might have been a mistake. Ooh, good combinations by Norton. I see us staying close. A much better in fighter than we might have expected to see. Norton covering up. Two big men. And the left by Norton. Left and right by Norton. He put a lot into those punches. And Garcia refuses to go. A right hand by Kenny Norton. Garcia is not just lying there now. He's being forced to stay where he is. Those punches, Tom, sound better than what they are. I don't like Norton opening up like he's doing. Kenny Norton keeping the pressure. He missed with that choppy right hand. Two or three. One thing about Jose Garcia, he is not afraid, and he's a very cool man. Norton still with pressure. With his back to you. Digging to the body, looking for the head. I think, I think the, our friend Garcia is playing uh, pussycat in there. I think he's going to come through now with some good shots. Here we go. Again, Garcia does not appear to be in a panic situation. Norton, very cool, though, always poised, but having some trouble. The man from Venezuela stands him back up. There's Norton with the combination. The action, head to head and toe to toe. With two good left hands. And here comes Garcia. Oh, good combination. Angelo. He's got Garcia. The right hand, a short right. Quick punches, short punches. Real tough, grueling fight. It's a real great fight for two heavyweights. And they have to slow down the pace. Something's got to give. Norton at 218. Garcia at 213. And an inch taller. Uh oh. Perhaps a long blow. See what they call it. Garcia is down and holding down low, but now he's back on his feet. Kenny Norton in the neutral corner. Jose Garcia down with a shopping left to the midsection. But back battling in center ring. The end of round three and battling at the bell. Great left hook that a pit of the stomach. Didn't expect it. Great punch. Uh, I think that he was caught by surprise with it. He's going to have to come back real strong. I don't think Kenny Norton is going to try to let him off the hook. Kenny Norton, of course, in the other ring being talked to right now by Slayton and company, has never lifted a weight in his life, Angelo. The body on Ken Norton is natural. He just has a super... Super phys physique to work in the ring with. He's 218 pounds, and we were talking. He he might go 235 uh, if he wasn't in the trim he's in right now. Jose Garcia, Ken Norton, Kenny 
Norton coming out. I noticed Norton that time stared across at Garcia. Oh, right hand by Garcia. Right hand by Garcia. Staggered Kenny Norton. Missed with the left. The right hand, though, definitely landed by Garcia. Kenny Norton now going to work, trying to get those hands down. Jose Garcia. Smart move. Missed the right hand. He's learned a lot, Angelo. Oh, he's finding a real cagey, smart fight. Outside that knockdown, that last one, that was really nip and tuck. Norton on the left now with a combination. That's Garcia in a little bit of trouble on the ropes right now. Norton very strong. Can go the distance if he has to. Uh, uh, Ali knows that. Your fighter, right? Norton very strong. Garcia, very quick puncher. Garcia is right in his own corner, comes out with the right hand. Norton is working. Hit the right hand to the body. Now the left hand. Uh-oh, it's chopping right hand. And now Garcia comes out. Toe to toe and back's getting Norton off. And Norton is back in again. These two haven't stopped. Right hand by Garcia underneath. Remarkable the shots that Kenny Norton's catching, and he's taking them well. Uh, this kid Garcia can really punch early. And that first right hand he landed, I thought was pay dirt. Ooh, combination. Big left hook. And Garcia, Jose Garcia is down. Coming off a right hand. Kenny Norton really struck a left hook high on the head. Second knockdown. Round four of 12. Garcia, back to work, and here's Norton lining it up. Well, there's some hook that Kenny Norton yeah, laid so on that Those time. body shots really took their toll on Garcia, but he's Left dangerous right. even when he's like in the position that he's in. There he goes. Ooh, good right hand by Garcia. Left by Norton. Ooh, right hand up the cut. Norton is putting it on him. Garcia's in trouble. Last to move. Norton won't let him off. Right above us now. Norton with a yes, yes. into the uppercut. Kenny Norton keeping the pressure up. Ten seconds to go. 25 KOs by Kenny Norton from San Diego. Another left hook to the body. Left to the body. Great left hook to the body. Garcia back with a right hand at the bell. And they're fighting at the bell. In the ground four. Uh, now the best shot that Norton's nailed on this kid is a oh, left hook to the body. Okay, round number five, and Kenny Norton might be awkward, but he can work, and he's been working head-to-head -head with Garcia. Had him down twice. We're in the fifth. I think Kenny's looking for another big shot downstairs. Backing him right above us now. Garcia's backs to us, and he's covering up now. There's no pretense now. A right hand by Garcia. A left and right, maybe blocked. Combination. Norton working inside, covering up. Ooh. Right hand of the kid. He's get the. Oh. He's been going to the low blow, remember. Jose Garcia on the deck for the third time. The neutral corner right above us is Kenny Norton. Looks like it is going to be over. Kenny Norton. Kenny Norton wins it. He wins his 33rd fight. Fifth round. Angelo with the big left again, huh? Well, they're claiming a low blow in the corner. Claiming a hit a low blow. Referee's calling it a knockout. One minute, 50 seconds. On the fifth round, the winner, Ken Norton. Ken I was trying to do, I'd forget every now and then get carried away. But uh, he had a lot of fat around his body, so I figured he couldn't take a good body punch. Kenny, it surprised me that he did come out and hit you with some good shots, and we know he's a big puncher, and you, you walked right back in there and got head-to-head -head and went to work again. That's because of the fact that I'm, I think I'm a better fighter today than I was five years ago. I think I proved it by the way I was countering punches, the way I was going under his punches, and by my effectability, effectability and uh, he, he wasn't able to do anything. 
Nothing at all. Concentration. You've got it, though. You did what you had to do, and you went out there, as you said, to punish him and get those hands down and do the job on him, huh? Uh, I hope so, yes. And uh, as I said before, God willing, I have a good night tonight. He was willing, so I had a very good night. You know that Don King was in, of course, and he's talking about after perhaps the affair in Manila uh, the first week in October. He's talking about you next spring, perhaps, against the man that comes out of there. You wouldn't mind something like that on a global nature, would you? No. I, I can stand it financially. I think I, plus I think I can beat Ali. I really do. Well, you've already done that once. The thing I think mean, I've done it twice. Yeah, that's right. Okay. The second twice. twice, 17 out of 19 judges thought I won the fight. So I think that front of proof right. that I won the fight. Now, you got back for the one that you lost. Let's talk about that fight. I had a feeling that maybe you were hit late in that first loss in Los Angeles to Garcia. Were you actually uh, a loser in regulation time or play, as we say? Well, as I said before, I have no excuses for losing. There is no excuse for losing. Right. But uh, after viewing the films, uh, I was stuck after the bell, but that's no excuse. I should have been prepared and should have defended myself at all times like they say before the fight. So there's no hard feelings. I just wanted to punish man for beating me the first time. I think I've done it. And now I have uh, beat Ali and Foreman, and I'm happy. Kenny Norton, you've got, your, you've got your head together in good shape. You really know where you're going as a person, don't you? Not only when you're in this ring. You seem to seem to know what's coming on next for you, don't you? Uh, I, seem to th I want to think that I do. I mean, you can't always be sure or be certain, but you can always have a, a vague idea. You can kind of steer off course. I have good backers in Bob Bine and Art Rifkin and my father, John Norton. And Arthur Ellen and everybody, Bill Slayton, they kind of, you know, they kind of see that I keep going straight. I don't veer off the course too much. And uh, I had one other fellow, Phil Torrance, was very helpful. All right, now, do you feel like that you sort of speak for a lot of people in Southern California? Uh, are you like the Silky Sullivan that came roaring the east as a thoroughbred? Are you the guy that speaks for Southern California or, or the whole western part of this country? Do you feel that way? I don't know. I'd just say I'd rather speak for myself and the people I'm surrounded with and the people who uh, believe in me as a fighter. But you're very happy now, aren't you? Three times. That's an amazing There's one down, I, and I have to get Foreman, and I have to get Ali, and I'm happy. You know, from your old football days, I think you made the right decision. Because <laughs> you went the right way. Thank you very Kenny much. Kenny Norton, congratulations. Thank CBS you. loved it. It was a super fight. Hopefully so. Thank you. Okay.